Today is the big day. Now, I don't know if it's happening there, but hopefully today we will be fighting Nebris in a doubles battle of awesomeness. Oh, hey, look at this guy. Oh, hi. Hi to you, too. Everybody's saying hello to me. I guess this guy didn't technically say hello. Uh, we're going to level up some guys. Wow, this is really convenient that he's here. Um, I did want to plant some berries. I'm going to retry the whole berry thing because I want my shop to be up and running. I have a nice little shop design idea in mind. So I think that would be kind of, oh, you're going to drown yourself like an idiot. Um, anyway, we're going to level up our guys. We're going to, ah, uh, EV train them. I almost said IVs. I always like mess. I know they're very different and I know well, why they're different and I know how they're different. I just always want to say EV or sorry. I always want to say IV instead of EV. But anyway, we're going to EV train our guys as well. And we're going to try to catch some legendaries. Hopefully I always say that. I mean, we're always trying to catch legendaries. Hello to you too. Puke. Puke. Pukum, Pukamu, Pukamuku, nailed it, uh, yeah, so let's get that started, maybe we should start with this guy, actually, before he drowns himself like an idiot, um, so th these guys are all set, these four, all I really gotta do is find the TMs for them that I need, actually, I believe Pidgeot needs a move tutor, so if we need to find a move tutor as well, that would be very, very convenient, hi, Sharpedo, um, so maybe we'll find one of those as well. But everybody else is set other than TMs. But these two guys, these are brand new. So we're going to start leveling them up right now. The Rhyhorn, I believe I might need um, a move relearner. Anyway, let's begin. <laughs> Okay, all the uh, all all the all the berries are planted except for cherry berry because I remember that I was having a hard time growing this one and they would just disappear and I'm completely and then I would replant them using the ones I had. Now I'm completely out of them, I believe. Let me see. Let me just double check the top chest. Pretty sure everything. Yeah. And then there's there's these guys, but these guys actually you can't plant. So and there's no cherry berries in here. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's about it. I got a bunch of oak saplings here. Wow, this is nice to see. Like It's like bonus stuff. Anyway, um, so I've slowly been uh, leveling these guys up. Gumi's up to 23. Rhyhorn's 27. It's really not a whole lot. <laughs> not a whole lot different than uh, when I started. But I now have... Uh, let me show you guys. Because I haven't really EV trained these guys yet, I've sort of been attacking whatever, whatever suits me. But I have a set of berries that we can use to remove all unwanted EVs. So we'll do that in a bit. I think first I want to get all their moves done. Um, which requires some TMs, like I said. So let's go take a let's go take a look. Let's take a gander at the TM shop uh near spawn. We'll check the NPC shop first, and then we'll go check the uh the other shops that people have set up. Uh, yep, you're fine, Pokemon. Hyper Beam, Rain Dance, Double Team, Aerial Ace, Volt Switch, Trick Room, Rage, Nightmare, and Shock Wave. I don't think I need any of these, but let's just just let me take a gander. I think I'm going to buy one of each anyway, though. I have 159000 I'm actually running a little bit low on cash. We need to start, like... I think we need to start... Um, What did I just buy? Hold on. Rain Dance, Double Team, and Hyper Beam. Rain Dance... Double Team Hyper Beam. Okay, Aerial Ace is next. We need to start like making some more money, which is fine because we have the Payday uh, Meowths, my Meowthia. Not only do they steal things, I guess they don't steal things, they just m pick up things, uh, but they also have Payday. They make me some money. All right, so we got one of each of those. I always do this every time I go to a TM shop. Let's put them in a uh, in one of these guys, a Purple Shulker box, and then off to the human-owned shops to see if there's anything we need over there. Cannot wait until this is open. Coming soon. Moon Dust Bree. Has she been stocking up at all? I don't think there's anything in these chests yet. I'd be very, very interested when this shop has its grand opening because I want to buy all the TMs. All the TMs and all the land. Has anybody collected TMs in this uh on this server? Like catch them all but TM edition? Anyway, Pokeballs, okay, TMs, here we go. Okay, this is gonna take me a little while to figure out exactly what it is. I need, if she has any of the ones I need. None. She actually doesn't have any of the ones I need. So, the TMs that I need are Surf, Sludge Wave, Stealth Rock, 
Rock Slide, and Toxic. Now, I probably have a couple of these back at my place. And then I need to learn two moves from a move tutor. Heat Wave for Pidgeot. Pidgeot <laughs> and then uh, Zen Headbutt for Bronzong. So... We still got a little bit of work cut out for us, but uh, we're not too far away. And then once I get those moves, I think, well, I guess I can start EV training them before the moves. Let me go check which ones I have in my shop. If only this shop were open. I feel like this shop would have everything I'd ever need. Looks like I had four out of the five. The only one I don't have is Surf. So uh, let's give Gumi. We're going to give Gumi. Which one did he need? Um, Was it... Oh, it was oh, it was Sludge Wave. We're giving Gumi. Is it Sludge Wave? Let me just double check. Yes, yes. We're giving Gumi Sludge Wave. Okay, Gumi, cut. Stop it. Stop it, Goomster. Gooms. There you go. Okay, so Sludge Wave will replace Bubble. Yeah, done. The other moves. I want on him, or Body Slam at level 32. I might replace Body Slam with something else, actually. Uh, Muddy Water at 38, and Dragon Pulse at 47. So we just got to level them up to get those moves. So that's good. Next, we have Toxic. We want Toxic on Rhyhorn. Actually, we want two of these guys on Rhyhorn. So let's get Rhyhorn out here. Boom. We're going to replace Stomp with Toxic. I always just double check. And then we want uh, Rock Slide... Actually, Stealth Rock as well. We'll put Rock Slide here. Okay, and then we'll put uh, Stealth Rock. Hey, dude. We'll put Stealth Rock there. And then we got to replace Smackdown with Earthquake. Yeah. Then we got to replace... Ooh, I can... Whoa. This is, uh, this is interesting. Gee. Um, then we got to just replace... Um, which one is it? The moves? Uh, uh, Smackdown. We got to replace Smackdown with Earthquake. So we're going to have Stealth Rock, Rock Slide, Earthquake, and Toxic. So a lot of people were saying, why are you using a, uh, a Lightning Rod ability, Rhyhorn? Well, it draws in all electric type moves. So this guy is very handy to have when other pokes who are vulnerable to electric type, mo type moves are in. So any electric type move that is aimed towards these guys will actually be drawn to Rhyhorn, and he's immune to it. So that's kind of nice. And it boots its special attack, although he does not he's not a special attacker, so it's not really a big deal. Uh why did I pick this guy? Sassy nature. Why did I pick a sassy natured? Hmm. I may have picked the wrong natured Rhyhorn, but that's okay at this point. His his IVs were good. I think that maybe that's why I picked him. He should have a boosted attack stat, actually. I guess his special defense is boosted, which is really bad. This is actually not, not a good... Whatever. It's fine. It's going to be fine. We're going to get wrecked anyway. <laughs> Who am I kidding? There's no way I'm going to beat Nevers. Nevers is just too good at this game. He's got all the strats. He's been a Pokemon master for years. Nevers, I know you're watching. I respect your Pokemon skills. Maybe one day you can teach me. Hopefully, we'll have more than one match, actually. Like, I can... So I can actually, like, learn and stuff. Because I feel like he's... Uh, he would be a good one to learn from. Uh, okay, so now, where am I going? I think I'm going to go over to Fedrin's Savannah. Which means I could probably get there a lot quicker using the Nether. It's just a nice place to be. Multitasking. I've got uh, these two guys who are the only two that need to level up. And now I've got all my pickup meows available. Well, the best pickup meows, not all of them. Um, so now I'm just going to do this as well. Not only am I going to level these guys up, but I'm also going to... Pick up items from beating Pokemon, and boom, payday. We're going to payday all the things, although sometimes we'll, we will miss with payday. Sooth Bell, sweet. Did I pick up anything? No. Ooh, another Alolan Meowth. Wait a second, wait a second. I think I'm going to catch this guy, and maybe I'll trade him to somebody. I think, uh, yeah, why not? There we go. We caught him. 310 XP just for catching him. Ooh, interesting. What is he anyway? He is pickup. He's got the pickup ability. Perfect. He stays right here. Impish nature. That doesn't really matter. His moves don't. He like, doesn't have payday. That's the only move I really think is important. Um, but that's good. All right, leave him here. This is my shiny meowth, right? Yep, my shiny. Now somebody said I caught a shiny Alolan meowth. I don't think so. I think this is just a regular shiny meowth. I don't I don't even know if there's a way to tell. But anyway, look at my Meowth collection, guys. Two, oh, a female and a male. Hello. Male and female, I mean. I think I did the other way around. Um, so this is kind of good. We've got we got a nice little Alola collection going. 
of of meows. <laughs> two of them. If by collection we mean two, then we have two. Uh, maybe I'll go over here. So I realized I was even more multitasking than I thought because at the same time I'm filling up the orb of static souls, and now I'll even I'll even quintuple that that. I'll quintuple it. I'm sure that's the proper way to say it. I'm going to go search for dittos. So I'm going to be picking up. I'm going to be leveling up. I'm going to be filling up orbs. I'm going to be uh, uh, trying to find dittos and, and whatever else I had mentioned before. Yeah, everything is great. I think in this new update, by the way, the dittos don't appear as dittos. I think they appear as different Pokemon and then they transform into dittos when you're in the fight. So we got to be a little bit more wary of that. Would explain why I haven't seen any dittos. Then again, it took me like, I don't know, 30 episodes to find my first ditto or something crazy like that. Ooh, what do we get? Hold on. I'll take the two meats. Strength. Strength? I don't think I've ever seen that one. Whoa, a Nido King. This guy's actually pretty rare around these parts. I have one, apparently. Payday. Okay, I should have used uh, Happy Hour. Do I have enough HP to use Happy Hour and then Payday? Let's just go with Payday again. Yeah. Payday again. I think this will give us three. Yeah, $1,200 for that. King's Rock. Nice. Drop all. Sweet. And we got Snore. Ooh, that's a good TM. I like Snore. I've used Snore before. I want to use my... Um, I think in the very near future, I'm going to start to formulate an actual like everyday Pokemon battling team. Just a regular team. No catches. I really like... Um, Snorlax. I really like the Wobbuffet. Like, I think I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to use them in a tournament because of the rules. But I would be able to use them like just out here. Wobbuffet. The Wobbuffet's pretty cool. So yeah, I think I want to do something like that. Now those are the only two that I really, really like. Oh, and the Torterra. But the Torterra, I, I would rather. Whoa! I just got a bunch of stuff here. A lagging tail and a ground gem. The Tortella, a Torterra. I would rather uh, EV train and get that all perfect and stuff. The Wobbuffet's already perfect. And then I guess the Snorlax, I would have to train as well oh that guy looked like a different guy because of the green bush in front of him Ooh, just got a reaper cloth a reaper cloth is a held item for dust clops if a dust clops is traded while holding a reaper cloth the dust clops will evolve into dusk dusk noir consuming the reaper cloth in the process it's a tier two special drop okay cool i i love the pickup guys man these guys are my favorite they just pick up all kinds of stuff hence the name pickup ability there's one of the moves we wanted for Gumi to replace Tackle. We got Body Slam. Although, like I said, I might replace that. The Gumi, that Body Slam is a physical attack, right? Um, Gumi, Gumi is not exactly the best physical attacker, especially a calm-natured Gumi. I really did not aim for the correct natures. I got to be honest with you guys. I just went, uh, we're, this is going to be trouble. <laughs> um, anyway... Yeah, uh, anyway, um, I think I was supposed to get like a sassy natured Gumi or something. I can't remember now. It doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, his, atta his physical attack is diminished. So we're probably going to replace that with something else. Some something probably special attack based, maybe even a status move. We'll see. But for now, let's keep it. Oh, look, it's a boss. A boss pat rat. I remember when the stuff that they gave me after you beat them was like really useful. And now, oh, goodness. Okay, Night Slash. That's probably not good either. Okay, he knocked out one of my meows. It's okay. We've got more where that came from. Uh, bite. Oh, he flinched. Nice. Payday. Okay, okay. Ouch, that hurts a lot. Payday one more time. Goodbye, dude. Yeah, power lens. That's not really going to help us in the grand scheme of things, but that's okay. I'll take it. It's free. Uh, this is weird. This is weird. Let's cancel. He was trying to evolve after I beat somebody, and then and then he, uh, oh boy, no, that was uh, that was not that was not good. Oh, also, I should probably not evolve him because he gets earthquake at forty eight, and I think if I evolve him, earthquake comes at a later level. So let's keep unevolving him. Um, come on now, come on now. There we go. Yeah, let's let's not evolve him anymore. All these berries, by the way, useless now because I have all of them except for the cherry berry. If I see a couple of those or one of those even. I'll pick that up. But yeah, we're going to cancel his evolution every single time. I guess he could hold an Everstone, which I have. But then he wouldn't get the double XP. So let's just make sure we're good about canceling its evolution. Cancel. Cancel. Uh, He learned Earthquake? I thought Earthquake was learned at level 48. This He's at level 45. Okay. 
Let's replace SmackDown with Earthquake. Now we can evolve him, assuming he actually learned Earthquake. I'm a little bit worried that he didn't. Where are you going, dude? Who walks while they're evolving? Only you. Only you, Jonathan. That's right, I called him Jonathan. Look at him, a Rhyhorn. A Rhyhorn evolved into a Rhydon. There it is, Earthquake. Hammer arm, we're not going to learn. I know it's a physical move, it's 100% or 100 power, 90 accuracy, but it's not useful in what we're trying to do here. Um, what is happening? What is happening? Get out of my face. Drop all. Okay, so now this guy is pretty much ready to go. He just needs to be traded, holding a, a oh, what's it called? A, uh, what's it called? A protector. A protector, which I have one back at uh, back at my base. So let's put him in here. Let's put you. Actually, let's get rid of, get rid of your lucky egg first. Oh, what the heck? I had like a mystery mail there. What is happening? Do I have any more mystery stuff? I guess not. Uh, let's put you into the doubles match. You are so close. We're so close to being ready, guys. We're so close. Okay, Gumi. I guess we just have to keep leveling you up. Gumi evolves into Gudra. Is there an evolution in between Gumi and Gudra? I should probably know this. Is, no. It, oh, it evolves into Sligu at level 40. So we got to get to get it to that level first, and then it evolves into Gudra at level 50, but it's dur during the rain only. So we have to wait until it's raining. This has a sap zipper, right? It does. Okay. Uh, okay. So I think maybe I'll just get another another uh, pickup guy, increase my pickup odds. Maybe we'll even actually, we'll train this guy because he's the shiny Meowth. We want him to like be the leader of our Meowthia. Second in command is right here. And then we'll have, oh, you know what? Let's train the second in command because he's closer to level 81 right now. Can you stop doing that? Thank you. Hey, look at this. It's a pig knight. Interesting. I have one of these already. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep it, but uh, that's that is a rare spawn right there. I don't want this Quaylot berry. I'm getting a lot of these uh, attack, dire hit, X attack, X special defense. I don't even know what these are used for. Hold on, I gotta read the read about these guys too. Is that another? Look at that. That's a Tepig. Those are rare spawns, and I just got like two of them back to back. Tepig. Oh, you're adorable. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to quick ball you just because I can. And I will. Ah, you broke free. Well, now you're an idiot. Can I ultra ball you? No, it's nighttime too. I picked the wrong ball for the job. But it might still work. It didn't work. He keeps trying to burn me. Dude, this is your last chance. I already have one of you. Oh, I tried an ultra ball again. What is wrong with me? Okay, I'm going to give him one more chance after this. I'm going to try a dusk ball. Yeah, okay, so he's raising something. <laughs> uh, he's raising my blood pressure is what he's doing. Here's the dusk ball. If you don't get caught by this, I'm going to have to murder you. This snake is ready to eat your face, too. And he's dead. Payday. Goodbye. Uh, and now the snake would like to fight us as well. Good. Good. Ah, I see. So these things uh, raise a Pokemon's... I guess a dire hit increases... Uh, critical hits maybe uh but anyway you can only use them during battle so let's for example the x attack is a type of medicine that temporarily raises a pokemon's attack by one stage while in battle before pixelmon reforged it could be obtained from shopkeepers as a tier one special drop but now i think you have to just get them like i just got them so there's that i wonder if we'll ever do that like allow what the heck are you A Wimpod? Okay, hold on, hold on. I definitely want to catch you. Okay, let's just try to catch it with the... With the quick ball right away. A Wimpod? It says I have one, but I do not recall <laughs> ever catching one of these things. Okay, it got loose. Um, hmm. I don't want to kill it. Let's bring out Gumi. Let's see if we can't just... Just damage it a little bit. Body slam, a normal attack... Should be good to damage it. Okay, good, good. Uh, Dusk Ball, right? Ah, it's getting bright now. Now we should have used the Ultra Ball. Man, I'm terrible with my ball choice. <laughs> I'm not sure why that was so funny. Okay, so what the heck is this Wimpod thing? 
I think I did catch one of these actually. Coming soon, Ability. Oh, it's one of the new guys. Level or number 600 or 767. It's a giant growth. Whim. Yep, I have another one. Hey, I just got a male to, to the female. Good. Good. Let's put you. Let's put you in this box. I need to organize my boxes. Um, do you guys want to see my Pokedex? Look at this thing. Like, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. It's pretty full. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good. I think if you use, yeah, the U, it tells you 497 out of 807. I guess that's not that great. But a lot of those are legendaries that I haven't caught, obviously. So the of, of the ones you can catch, I think I've caught a lot of them. I feel pretty good about my, uh, my Pokedex. One of the moves we wanted on Gumi... Finally, well, I guess Body Slam was another one earlier, and we've got the Sludge Wave TM earlier, so really all we have to do is replace Absorb with Muddy Water, and fight this guy because he's annoying, and then Dragon Pulse, he learns at 47. So we're actually pretty close to getting Gumi ready too. This is exciting, guys. This is exciting. Of course, first he has to evolve into Sligoo at level 40, and he's not there yet. He's at 38, so I have a lot of rare candy too, so I could probably just rare candy it all the way up. But I'm not going to. I don't like using the rare candy if it's unnecessary. Look at how small this Ponita is. Hello. You're adorable. I'm going to kill you now. That sounded really creepy. Look who we have off to our left over there. It's a Mega Kangaskhan. Now, I'm not going to make the same mistake. I'm Blaziken. This is, oh, you know what? Let's keep him in there. Yeah, he'll get some, he get, he'll get some XP from this. Hopefully, Blaziken does not miss this high jump kick. This is all what it depends on. Even if he misses it, I think he's okay. Because he's faster and he gets to go first the next turn. And I don't think he can one-shot us. So, he one-shotted us. Ouch. Ouch. Let's try this. I can't escape. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This could be... Uh-oh. Okay, we escaped. All right, we're bringing the big boys out to play. Level 100 Charizard, 100 Torterra, 100... Oh, it's a Mega Manectric. Wow, a couple of... Me okay, that's that's cool. No, we can we can handle this. So let's start with... Uh, let's start with Breloom. Hopefully Breloom can spore him real quick. Oh, the Mega Punch was enough to kill us. Okay, Zangoose. Uh, close combat. Okay, that did a lot of damage. That is good. Mega Punch is going to kill us. That's fine. Charizard, Heat Wave. It wasn't very effective. Oh, gosh. Okay. Kangaskhan fainted. Great. We did this. Uh, Lustrous Orb, Silk Scarf, drop the rest. Gumi is evolving, and he's taken off. Wow. He is really quick on his little feet. He doesn't have feet. He's got um, uh, tissue. He's really quick on his tissue. There it is. All right. So the next one. Mega Manetric. Uh, let's get you in here. Let's go heal up. So who should we take to take that guy out? We should be okay with just Torterra, actually. Right? Ground weakness. Fire punch. Not very effective. Boom! Yes, Torterra is going to take him out in two shots. Two shots. Get out of here. Oh, not two shots. Not two shots. Okay, now he's dead. Did we get, okay, ooh, Electric Gem, a uh, Lunalium Z, and a Rare Candy. Drop the rest. Awesome. Cool. Ooh, look at this guy. Oh, this is so, this is good. This is good. Can I get the Ite for this guy? I want the Mega Stone for this guy. Who do I, uh, let's start, you know what, let's go with, it's Psychic type. So what do we need? It's weak to Bug, Ghost, and Dark. Um, hmm. I don't think I have very many options here. Okay, let's get you guys out of here. Let's get you out of here too. Bug, Ghost, and Dark. Um. Uh, what is Tor? He has a crunch. Okay, let's let's bring in Torterra. He's level 100. He's fully HP'd up. Okay, I guess we'll just go with the with, with my highest level guys and see what happens. Um, hopefully we'll be able to beat him. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. I really want a Mega Stone for Alakazam. Okay. So, we're going to go with Crunch. Oh, this is going to be perfect. Perfect. Gone. Yes. Alakaz... Alakazite. 
I'll take a metal plate and a rare candy. I don't want the Ender Pearl. That makes me really happy. I was not expecting to get that today. That is really good. Oh, my Mega Stone list grows larger. I mean, I don't have a whole lot of them, but I have a decent amount. One, two, three, four. Uh, let's put uh, you to continue leveling you up. This Meowth, okay. Uh, that's the Shiny Meowth. All right. Oh, man. Okay, so anyway. Uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of a summary. The Sligu is up to level, level 42. We need to get it to level 47, I think it was, for Dragon Pulse. I think it learns Dragon Pulse at 47. We definitely want Dragon Pulse for this fight with Nevers. Nevers is not online. I'm hoping he comes online soon so that we can actually battle. Um, and hopefully more than one battle. I might only show you like one of the battles, maybe the most, most competitive one. <laughs> maybe the one that I actually do decent on. Uh, but for now... Uh, I'm hoping it to battle him more than once and at least put up a good fight um, because Nebris is uh, all all props to him. I mean, I've said it before, but he is uh, he is an opponent. He is definitely a worthy opponent. Let me get the meows out here. In the meantime, I'm going to continue using pickup ability and continuing leveling up this Sligu. Um, we have to level it up into a Gudra though in the rain. We have to remember that too. I think once well, we have a rare candy on us right now. Once it starts raining and once we learn that move. Um, we could just we could just level it up with the rare candy while it's raining and it should be fine. Perugly. Do you know what Perugly's equal to me? Per awesome. Because they give out destiny knots. Let's do a destiny knot for good old beefy boy today. Let's try it right now. Come on, more one more payday, which will give me triple triple the amount of money earned. Ooh, I could do I get to do a fourth payday and I get to, I get a destiny knot, hopefully. I'm staying positive here. What did I get? I got a destiny knot. Suck it, world. That's pretty sweet. Drop ball. I don't want any of that stuff. I don't want this stupid mail. I got another destiny knot. Man, my breeding, my breeding um, prospects are, are really looking up. That's nice. And I got how much money from that? I don't even know. What am I up to now anyway? Ooh, 195. I think I was down in the low 100s, so I'm almost at 200,000 now just from walking around and, uh, and doing this, using the pickup team and using payday. There it is. Sligu has now learned Dragon Pulse. We're going to replace Dragon Breath with Dragon Pulse. Uh, what is that? Special attack, special attack, 6085. Yeah, beautiful. Done. So Sligu is now ready for battle. So all I really need are the move tutors and I think a couple of TMs. One of them being Surf and the other one, what was the other TM I needed? I think it maybe it's just Surf. It might just be the Surf TM that I need. Yeah, but I need move tutors to learn Headbutt, or Zen Headbutt and, uh, and Heat Wave. Uh, I haven't found any move tutors. Oh, what is that? That's just another guy, isn't it? That's just another that's just another regular guy. A regular, everyday, normal guy. John LaJoey, represent. How long has it been since you heard that name? Do you even know that name? Only early adopters of YouTube will know that name. I sound like some sort of like uh some sort of ad or something. Only this per okay, I'll just stop. Anyway. <laughs> um, this is good. This is good. Let me get all this stuff inside these uh these 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 things. Oh, I got a bunch of TMs. From all this, uh, from this whole procedure, I uh, got another Everstone too, which is nice. Let me show you guys my TM box. Look at this. Now, some of these I bought, like the first, I don't know, six or seven of them, maybe more. But look at that. I got Brutal Swing, which apparently is a pretty good move. 20, 100% accuracy, 60 power. I mean, it's not, it's probably good for doubles battles because it hits everyone on the field. That's kind of cool. Um, the Everstone. I thought I had another, it's probably this one. Boom. There it is. Another Everstone and a Quick Powder. I guess we'll start the Quick Powder process and put it in here. Okay. Meanwhile, I have this. I need 94 more knockouts to fill my Orb of Static Soul, so that's good. The multitasking is real today. Really real. As real as it gets. Um, so let's put that back there. And now, I think I just got to go find... Maybe I'll find some shops. See if they're selling the, uh, the TMs that I need, which basically is just Surf. And then hopefully come across a move tutor or two. Actually, one thing that we could do while we're waiting for all that stuff to happen. I mean, I guess it's not going to happen unless we make it happen. But I forgot that I still had to EV train these guys. Now, it's going to take no time at all for you guys. It's going to take a little time for me. But before we do that, let's... I don't know. Slash EVs 2. Whoa. That is a mess. Okay, so Arcanine, we want HP EVs, Defense EVs. And a little bit in special attack. Um, HP is okay. We got to get rid of attack. We got to get rid of... Oh, man. Okay. This is going to take a little... Okay. Let, give me one second. 
So for Arcanine, like I said, we need HP and we need um we need HP and we need defense. And we're not going to remove everything from special attack. So I've got these guys set up. You may have also noticed, by the way, these are all set up with power weights. All of these guys, I'm going to boost their HP EV. So we're starting with that. And to uh, to get HP EVs, we need to attack. Need arena females, need arenas, uh, need a queens. So we're going to look for those in the daytime. Right now it's nighttime. That's why you don't see any here. So that explanation is out of the way. Next, these are all in order. This is for HP, attack, et cetera, et cetera. So we need to remove... The uh, attack on Arcanine. So let's just give it five of those. It's not going to need five. We need to remove the... Um, wait, what, are we, what else are we removing? Attack. The defense on Arcanine we have to raise. So we're going to leave that alone. We're going to lower the special attack, I guess. No. Well, we need... Yeah, we got to lower the special attack. So uh, right here. That's Hundu, right? That's special attack is the fourth one. Yeah, so that's Hundu. Oh, this is going to get complicated for all five of these guys. Whoa, there's a big old motorcycle outside my door. Uh, in the last episode, you guys didn't even hear the drilling. Or I think, wait, that might have been my, my Skyblock episode. I mentioned something about drilling. Or somebody was like chopping down a tree outside my window. And I could hear it clear as day. But apparently my microphone is good enough that it does not pick that stuff up. And only picks up my soothing wonderful voice so you guys probably missed out on on hearing that uh, motorcycle tear down the street all right so we got that we need to lower the uh special defense because yeah arcanine we'll ju we're just we're, we're concentrating on hp and defense so we need to lower the special defense um so that's we're lowering this and then we're lowering this no speed for arcanine we're not concerned with speed for arcanine all right, so this should do, I hope. Let's get this guy out here. Let's start feeding. Whoa, what the heck just happened there? Start feeding him berries. Did that? There we go. Friendship increases. Attack fell. Let's attack at 134 now. Okay, was that even enough? His attack is still at 104. We must have fought a lot of things. I might even need to go get more berries after this. Oh, boy. There we go. Arcanine is uh, down to where he needs to be. Now to do it for everybody else. Yeah, I definitely needed more berries, and look at what happened. I don't know what's going on with this server. I feel like it's probably a server setting or something where, where the, the berries don't replant themselves. Maybe? I don't know. I haven't been away that long, and the berries are just all gone. That is trouble. I don't even know if I have enough now. I do. I do have enough. Well, I don't know if I'll have enough for everybody, but I have a bunch of Kelpsy berries here. Uh, I'm going to need some more tomato berries. Okay, we have some of those. That's good. We have... Uh, I don't think I even have any more Greppa berries, unless they're up... I do have more Greppa berries. I have more of these Quaylot berries. Hundu berries. Do I have any more of those? Ugh. Oh, palm eggs. Palm eggs are kind of low. However, the palm eggs are HP berries. So I think I should be okay with those guys because pretty much everybody needs HP except for um, the Pidgeot. Okay, so I've got the Arcanine ready, the Bronzong ready. I'm working on the Sligoo and then the Gastrodon and the Rhydon. We still have to level up the, uh, the Sligoo in the rain. So as soon as it rains, we have to remember to do that. I will probably forget, but hopefully not. It's raining. Okay, this is good news for me. Let's get that uh, rare candy. Where are you going, Mr. Level 43? I'm having a hard time finding the move tutors, guys. That could be a problem. But we'll we'll figure it out. No, I definitely don't want to run anything right now or, or battle anything right now. Okay, rare candy. Sligoo. I choose you. That didn't work. Um, does he have to be? Oh, I think he has to be super friendly, too. Oh, he's got to be level 50 first. Um, hmm, I wonder if I can get that done. Okay, hold on, hold on, I could probably get that done. Oh, no, but wait, is it going to affect everybody's... Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, we got we to gotta figure this out. We got to figure this out. This is... I mean, I guess I could just do a couple more rare candies. I know I have another one in here. I don't think I have any more in any of these boxes. Let me just check real quick. Nothing in there. Nothing in there, nothing in there, and nothing in there. I could go home and get some rare candies. I feel like that's probably my best bet. Yeah, you know what? Uh, Let's do that. In fact, 
Do I have a quick way home? Do I have teleport? On, I don't remember where the last time was that I healed up. It could just be like right here. Actually, I don't think this guy has teleport. Right. This guy does. Right? Yes. It's the only move that he's got. Okay. Let's teleport back home. Leave this stuff here. Actually, let me take this with me. I'm going to take everything with me. What am I doing? I'm crazy. Crazy if I don't. Here we go. Not you. You stay there. Uh, we'll take this. We'll take this. Now you. Dang it. That's where I was. Um, looks like we gotta take the portal. Ugh. All right, it's still raining. Knowing my luck, this is gonna be like the shortest, the shortest rainfall ever in the history of this server. We just gotta get these, uh, these levels or these candies on them before it all goes to heck. Does he have to be out in the open? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and pop him out. Okay, level 49. Level 50, and he's evolving. Now, we've already seen what the Guja looks like, um, but let's see it again. It kind of looks adorable, not going to lie. This thing, imagine it stayed this big, like this big of a snail. There it is. The Gudra. Welcome, Gudra. Well, oh, power whip. Uh, we don't want power whip. Aqua tail. Ooh, that's a physical one. Special. These are all special, except for body slam. I'm a little bit iffy on body slam, guys. May also leave the target with paralysis. His physical attack is bad. We're gonna we're gonna forget that one um, because we can we can get it back if we want with move tutor. Still a little iffy on body slam. Might replace it with something else, but we'll see. All right, so we got this guy all leveled up. Now all we gotta do is uh, EV train everybody. <sighs> it's gonna be fine. And just like that, all of them have maximum HP EVs. Now to train everything else. Look who it is. The man, the myth, the legend. He actually helped me. I'm looking for Heat Wave, as I mentioned to you guys. And he actually helped me find Heat Wave. So Pidgeot is now going to get Heat Wave. We're going to replace Wing Attack with Heat Wave. That's a special attack. Uh, Defog, special attack. Uh, yeah. Oh, U-Turn is a physical attack. Interesting. That's okay. I like U-turn. I like its effects. Heat wave it is. Boom. We have heat wave. Awesome. Do you also have Zen headbutt by any chance? Fire punch psychic. No, you don't. Okay, that's fine. Um, so the plan now. I'm pretty much. Oh, not pretty much. I'm almost done. I think I have like one more poke to uh, to EV train, and then we can fight the Nebzi. Um, it won't take too long now. I really want to thank him for his patience. <laughs> I've been so busy with real life stuff. Guys, guess what? Yesterday, yesterday morning, or I guess yesterday morning, this morning, when you when you started watching, it's very complicated editing and recording on multiple days. Um Sunday morning, uh my house officially sold. So you know what that means? More time to play games. Do you not have teleport? Do you not have teleport? You do have teleport. Why can't I change your move? That was weird. That was really weird. Maybe it was... Uh, oh, no, I'm back at Fedrin's. Well, dang it. That's okay. Um, That's okay. It's not It's not a, a long... Oh, you know what? I might be able to train my dudes here. Who do I have left? I have... Let's put you back. I have uh, doubles match. I think I just have Gastrodon... I have a little bit of Bronzong EV training to do still. Um, other than that, this guy's completely done. I think the Rhydon is done. Hold on, let me check. Hold, I think, okay, so let's just, let's do this a little bit more methodically here. Um, slash EVs six. Yes, the Gudra is done. Okay, EVs five. Uh, the, the Arcanine is not done. It needs four special attack EVs. Not a big deal, but why not? Or six special attack EVs, whatever. So, so he, he's not done. The Rhydon, uh, is four, right? Is done. Okay, good. I gotta get it. their held items too, actually. I gotta, I can't forget that. The, uh, the Bronzong is almost done. I need four special defense EVs for the Bronzong. Okay, so we got special attack, special defense. Who else do we have? This guy and this guy. So the Pidgeot is done. Yes. Good. And it's got the uh, the move that I wanted. The only one I'm missing now is Zen Headbutt for Bronzong. Um, the Gastrodon 
is not. The Gastrodon is the one that needs the most work. I need to up the special attack, or sorry, the special defense EVs on Gastrodon um, quite a bit. And then a little bit of special attack. So we still have a little bit of work to do, but we are so, so close. All right, guys, the time has finally come. Here are the held items that we are going to give our guys. Now, the only one I'm not going to give right now is Rhydon because I got I to gotta trade him for him to evolve. Look at Nebris. I got to scarf down my lunch real quick, then I'll meet you at spawn. Perfect. We're going to fight. It's happening. Um, I've read... Okay, so a couple things. I wasn't able to get... Uh, which one was I wasn't able to get muddy. No, not muddy water. Sorry. Um, uh, what is it? Surf. I wasn't able to get surf for Gastrodon, which kind of sucks. I have mud slap. I mean, I guess we could replace mud slap with something else, but I'm not even going to bother because I do want surf eventually. Think of this as like a trial for the, whoa, you are massive. Think of this as like a trial for the doubles battle. Uh, I, I don't want to like use TMs. I don't have to because I will eventually find surf and I'll give it to him. I was also unable to get uh, for Bron. Was it for Bronzong? Yeah, Zen Headbutt for Bronzong. I still have extra sensory, which is a special attack. Probably won't use it very much. Um, but we have Heal Block and Reflect and Gyro Ball. Um, you know what? We don't really have a Psychic Attack. We might need to actually put a Psychic move on him, to be honest. So let's do that. Um, and what else? I, I don't I don't think anything else is going to be a problem. I think I have all the moves for every other poke. The only thing... I mean, here's the thing, guys. This is my very... I've never even tested a doubles battle before. This is going to be my very first time in a doubles battle. So hopefully we do okay. Uh, if not, no no big deal. What do we have here? This is, this is not what I want. Teleport. Okay. Uh, these are fairy and psychic? I think they're all in the same one. Um... Dream Eater. I have to see what, what probably would be the best move for Bronzong. Okay, I'm going to give Bronzong the special attack of Psychic. He's not a special attacker. He's a physical attacker, but I mean, we'll, we'll have to make do with what we've got. So yeah, and the Rocky Helmet will go on uh, on Rhydon here. We just have to trade him first. All right, Rhyperior is now in my party. He's the second one there, if you'll notice. Uh, I traded him. I evolved him, and we are ready for battle. Nebris is going to be joining us soon. I'm not going to show you the whole battle because it's probably going to be super long, but I'll definitely show you the highlights. Uh, my highlights, specifically. Not anybody else's because, really, we only want to see me succeed. So, um, I guess here we go. Oh, Ooh. I took a guy out. Yes! <laughs> That's it. That was the highlight. So, here's the thing. <laughs> you guys probably think I'm joking. I'm not joking. Um, so that was my very, very first time ever playing doubles battles, and we ended up having three matches. Nebris won all of them. Kudos to him. He's awesome. He's awesome at Pokemon. If I needed a Pokemon master to teach me that, it would be Nebris. Um, he won all the battles. That was the only time I knocked one of his guys out. Um, and it was just a, it was just a very messy clip. It was like 40 minutes long because it was all the battles, like three battles. Um, and it was just a lot of humming and hawing on my part because I'm trying to figure out what moves do what damage to who, if they affect my allies, all that stuff. And in the middle of all that, it's just, it just wasn't very entertaining. However, I will promise you this, guys, I will face Nebris again, hopefully in the very near future. I want to have some more doubles matches against other people as well. Maybe people who aren't as experienced as Nebris, so I have a little bit of a chance to win. <laughs> Although Nevers isn't super experienced at, at doubles battles either, but he's definitely experienced. At, oh, I had Pokemon. I was not expecting to do that. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to practice, uh, get these guys. I, I really like the team. I did have a lot of trouble with... Um, he's got a lot of water types, I think. Or, well, he's got a couple that I didn't really have too much of an answer for. So maybe we'll fiddle around with settings here and there or, or moves here and there. But uh, all in all, pretty positive experience. And I want to thank Nevers for being awesome. I do have the original video all of it i'm not sure what to do with it because it's like like i said 40 minutes of humming and hawing and should i do this should i do that uh so it's not whoa this is big this is big okay a galade we're gonna end the episode with a boss galade fight that is surprising uh here let's let's get you in there what should i do what is galade weak to weak to fairy fairy flying and ghost so let's do that and let's hit him with a hurricane Hit him with the hurricane. Hopefully we don't get knocked out. 
Come on, Pidgeot. Mega. Pidgeot. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Confusion. That's probably not good. Don't hurt yourself. Good. We nailed it. We've got a Galadite now and a Meadow Plate. I have so many Meadow Plates. Uh, but like I said, thanks to Nevers for just entertaining the thought of battling me because I'm sure I'm not his most challenging opponent. So I, I'm sure... I'm sure he's got more challenging opponents he'd like to face. But yeah, I'm definitely going to practice, and I want to do it again. This time, hopefully, I can learn a little bit more about my team. I can learn uh, which two guys are, are best with each other. For instance, like Rhyperior and Pidgeot. I was always putting them in together because he's got Earthquake. He's immune to Earthquake. Uh, also, I was doing Rhyperior with um, people who were, or, or people, Pokemon who were weak to Lightning because he draws in all Lightning attacks to himself. Although, I don't think that was even uh, the case. Um, I was using I was using uh, Bronzong a lot with um, Reflect, which protects the team from physical attacks for five turns. And then I used Reflect again before it even wore out. Do you know why? Because I was using Light Clay, and I didn't even realize that Light Clay actually increases the effect of Reflect for eight turns. Also, I was not using Stealth Rock. Not nearly enough. I used it like two times, and a couple times never anticipated it and blocked it. But anyway, anyway. Uh, we will fight him again. I will provide much better footage. Trust me, you don't want to see this. It's so boring. It is so boring. It's just so bad. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode, though. It was a lot of work to make this one. I'll see you in the next one, hopefully shortly. Bye-bye. Um,